What's the crack lads? What is going on? Hope you guys are all good and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're taking a look at the match pass. Is it worth it? We're also going to be doing a quick review and a training guide covering everything with Sun and Van Dyke for both the value and the premium. So first things first, right? There is a 50% discount on the match pass for every single person. If you have never downloaded or played eFootball before and you've never actually bought a uh, a match pass before and um, this is how you unlock it you either press triangle or square or y on the xbox pad and then you can unlock it here with the value or the premium match pass i've already unlocked it so that's why it's grayed out for me but there is a 50 percent discount for everybody if you've never unlocked a match pass before and you've never played the game before and it's your first time watching a video like this for match pass and wonder what it's all about you actually get a further discount on that as well right so this regular one is for free. You get Everybody gets this regardless. You're just automatically going to start unlocking this as you play games. The ticks beside this means that you have unlocked it and they do stack. So for example, if you don't have it unlocked but you've played 50 games, as soon as you unlock it, you will get all of the um, the presents and the login stuff here and the, the stuff that you are rewarded with backdated to when you actually unlock it right so first things first right the value match pass is actually a really good option this week because of the brilliant sun card right now when i talk about sun he has been nerfed i've played with this card i've played with him on a multiple games he's not i don't know man what it is that they've done to him but the likes of mbappe is moving differently on the pitch sun is just moving worse i think right let me know in the comments below but i definitely think it's all about how you train sun so i'm still figuring out different ways but i think i do have the best build for him we'll show you that in a second but van dyke is a very very dominant defender genuinely if you get van dyke and you're starting off he's one of the best players to start out with he's one of the best center backs for all budgets i will have a video coming on that as well you'll be able to see that um where you genuinely will be able to just have a really good focal point at the back that you can just build from he's not the fastest but we'll get to that in a second in terms of everything else for the value match pass and the premium match pass right the big uh, difference between them here is it actually tells you what you get right it tells you how, what you get in these um let me just check yeah i think it tells you on the other screen but basically what you get here is a lot of coins back and a lot of trainers right so if you are struggling for trainers with this because of the actual reduction on it you're going to get 50 match you're going to get 50 coins you're going to get 100 coins another 150 there 200 and then you're obviously going to have that so it's going to cost you 250 coins but you're going to get 200 back and it's the same with the premium one so the premium one gives you obviously a lot higher tier um stuff back there's giving you 100 coins there 150 200 250 300 and then that's it right so they're going to give you 300 so you're it's costing you 200 coins so for this 200 coins the big selling point of these is going to be the five star nominating contract right so you unlock a free one when you've got 15 on the regular match pass but on top of getting your coins back and stuff like that with the value match pass you're going to get an extra five star there you're also going to get a load of different four stars on the premium one you're going to get an extra five star there and then you're going to get another five star with 45 games there as well as getting your coins your trainers your contracts the premium match pass i think if you are going to buy one i think this is the time to do it because it's so cheap but yeah onto the players right so i definitely do think that they are worth it this month especially when you get two focal points if you are staying road to glory or you're trying to stay free to play as best as you can these are better versions of the standard cards right so we'll first take a look at sun now i think i've cracked it with how to train him up the biggest thing with Sun on this one is that he's standard form, but he's on A rating and he has got some kind of unique variety when it comes to his player skills, his stats and his actual play style. Prolific wingers are behaving extremely powerful out wide, but they're not as dominant through the middle. So with this Sun card, we have two different builds. The first build I'm going to show you is over on here on eFootballDB.com. We're going to show you is just a straight up striker. Now, this is kind of the classic throwback Sun that everyone was playing up front the asian stars pack was was a center forward he was a beast didn't matter that his play style didn't match nothing like that he was just a beast now we've maxed out his offensive awareness and acceleration with 90 and 90 85 finishing 88 curl and then 86 speed balance is solid dribbling is solid right if you are looking to have him out wide if you're playing him as a kind of a cut in winger you can just pretty much take down the finishing here to about 80 or else 78 depending on how much you shoot 78 should be more than enough passing i wouldn't even really use that because you're just going to be cutting in and creating kind of gaps in the middle for your strikers to run through your attacking midfielders to run through and all you really want with sun 
out wide is going to be a bit of an engine and a bit of a dribble on him so i would just max out that dribble there and then obviously you can just pop one more into the finishing so that's the out wide version of him on to van dyke here right so for van dyke he is going to be your premium one he goes to 95 overall but depending on how you train him up he's going to be a little bit different than most center backs that you used he is a standard form as well which is a bit i think harsh on the liverpool captain um i definitely think he should have been you know unwavering form physical contact is huge Offen defensive awareness is huge his acceleration is only 60 which is a slight concern you are going to need to prop him up with a partner that is fast and mobile somebody like timber kunde alaba somebody like that that can play a bit of ball and is able to control the back line with van dyke being your main defender in the air and kind of like position wise and then you need to manually defend with another one right but this is the version of him that we've gone with here, which is pretty easy to train up. You know, it's pretty easy to train up. You've got 13 into defending, you've got four into lower body strength, and then six into aerial strength. I've used Van Dyke and multiple versions of Van Dyke since the very first week of eFootball 2022. He was on my squad that first got up to Division 1, so he has gone through a bit of a change. He was nerfed, he was boosted, he was buffed, he was nerfed again, he was buffed again. And I think now, with the current gameplay, He's a colossus at the back. I think he's better than Delict. He's better than Upa Meccano. He's better than guys like Ruben Diaz that were so good when eFootball 23 first launched. He has really kind of come back into his own now, especially under a high ball. He's got excellent player skills. The standard form is a bit of a concern, obviously, but it's not as bad as it was with eFootball 23. You're always going to have him on normal form more than often than not. Defensive awareness, 95. Aggression, 91. All the defense stats are going to be in the 90s, lads, which is insane, right? It's absolutely insane. Now, his standard card is actually quite decent as well if you take a look at it. You've got a very, very limited kind of different card. The, big, the biggest thing is that this card is 82 overall, um, and he's got minus 2 on defensive awareness and minus 4 aggression. And that's why I say that if you have your heart set on playing with Van Dijk, I would definitely recommend to get him because he's only going to cost you 200 coins. You're going to get you know all your coins back as much as you can. 300 coins back, it's going to cost you 500 in total. 300 coins back, and you're going to get three five-star nominating contracts, four four-stars, and then loads of trainers as well. So it is definitely one to get if you have the coins lying around or you've saved up or you want to grind coins. He also has 90 physical contact, 75 speed, and 70 or 85 jump with 83 header. So... Yeah, apart from a couple of things with this card, I do think that it's a phenomenal card. I definitely love um, this card. I love playing with him. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of it. I do think that if you are ever going to get a match pass, one of them is good, if not both. I mean, you could literally buy the value match pass and it's going to cost you 50 coins because you it will cost you 250, um, but you'll get 50 back. Or else you could buy the premium for 500 and you'll get 300 back. So I definitely think the value is a no-brainer. The premium is more of a choice if you do have the coins lying around. So let me know what you think. That's just a quick one. It's a thumbs up for me, depending on the players. And as I said, the play style and the game has changed quite a bit. A lot of things that was working in eFootball 23 is not working. I've played about 50 hours of the game already, streamed 25, 30 hours of it. And to be honest with you, there's a lot of things that I'm still figuring out. But I think I have kind of cracked the team selection now what's working so we will have a lot of videos up on that um as we usually do and we'll also have our best center backs where van dyke features but until next time lads don't forget to subscribe it's a thumbs up for the match pass for me if you've got the coins lying around two of them are worth buying this week you're basically getting two brilliant players uh, that you can build your squad around you're getting loads of coins returned to you there's a 50 percent on discount on both of them so you're effectively getting you know the value and the premium might be costing you 750 coins in total, but you're getting 500 coins back. So it's very, very good value, I think, if you are looking for a match pass. So yeah, that is it, lads. I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.